MIUI vendor versus OSS vendor. That is the topic of discussion for today's Android custom ROM basics. So those of you who do own Xiaomi, Redmi, Poco devices, as in devices which run MIUI and are into custom ROMs, you would have heard of something called MIUI vendor and then there is something called OSS vendor. So what is MIUI vendor? Now, if you haven't watched the other video about firmware system and vendor, I do recommend that you watch that one in this very Android custom ROM basics playlist. So devices after Android 8.0 or you have something called a system partition and a vendor partition. Now vendor basically is something wherein you have all the proprietary stuff, say MIUI stuff, Qualcomm stuff, MediaTek stuff. That is what is generally present in the vendor partition. Now, when custom ROM developers start bringing up custom ROMs for a new device, if they are using the whole vendor partition from MIUI, then that ROM is based on MIUI vendor. In that specific case, they will first ask you to flash or be on whatever version of MIUI they want. And inside the ROM zip, you will find just the system image and the boot image. Those are the only things which you should find inside those ROM zips. So that is what is MIUI vendor. When you are using the whole vendor partition as is so any rom which is based on miui vendor does not have or does not make any changes to the vendor it is using the whole vendor partition from miui next up what is oss vendor for starters what does oss stands for oss stands for open source software some of or most of the things which are present in MIUI vendor, which are of course needed for the device to function properly, can be built either from AOSP or from CAF. So once the developers have brought up a custom ROM for a device based on MIUI vendor or by using MIUI vendor, the next step generally is to achieve OSS vendor, wherein they start building the proprietary stuff, which Xiaomi has been using and you know adding their own code to the proprietary stuff the developers start building those blobs as they call it from either AOSP or from CAF right and the target or the aim is to achieve full independence from MIUI why because once you have open source software or OSS vendor, you are not dependent on Xiaomi to update stuff. Let us say you are going from Android 11 to Android 12. Now, if you have OSS vendor, you do not have to wait for Xiaomi to say release Android 12 for a particular device so that your Android 12 build is working properly. You have OSS or open source software vendor. You can easily compile and build Android 12 AOSP or CAF based ROMs because your dependency on Xiaomi's vendor has been reduced. Now, are OSS vendors completely open source or is it like totally independent? Well, that all depends on the device. You might have some bits and particles which you actually cannot build from AOSP or CAF, in which case you will have to use those blobs from the MIUI vendor. But what you're trying to achieve, as I mentioned earlier, is like total independence from Xiaomi or MIUI vendor, which is why OSS vendor is a big thing because you get independence porting or building the next Android version as easy and you do not have to be dependent on Xiaomi. Now, what are the advantages of OSS vendor? Of course, building the next version of Android without being dependent on Xiaomi is one. And then the next one is long term support because Xiaomi is only going to update your device for what, like, say, two Android versions or even one, right? So if you're dependent on them, then your device or custom ROM support might as well be screwed, which is why OSS vendor is preferred. And in terms of performance and battery saving, that should be, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, should be better than Xiaomi's because you are using open source components from AOSP and CAF, which of course can be optimized later on. In terms of using MIUI vendor, it is all closed source. So you cannot like optimize it to your device's needs. In case of OSS vendor, all those things can be 
done. There it is peeps. That is what is the difference between MIUI vendor and OSS vendor. And of course, a ROM which is based on OSS vendor will have the vendor partition in the zip file as well. So in that case, the developers will ask you to be on the latest firmware only. So you have to flash the firmware zip instead of flashing the firmware plus MIUI vendor zip on your device before flashing a custom ROM. 